So we spent the last couple of days uh, mushroom hunting uh, here in Southeast Alaska, uh, Chickagoff Island. <coughs> um, we have been on a mission to find chicken of the woods, of which we had heard there was a lot in the woods here. We have not been able to find any until today, and today we found a bunch. Uh, yesterday, as we looked uh, for chicken of the woods, um, we came across these little guys, and they are chanterelles. And so we found a lot of chanterelles. There hasn't been much rain this year, so they're not a real bright orange and they're pretty dry, but man, they're really good. They were super tasty and we were excited about those. Uh, however, today we finally hit the big one and we found chicken of the woods and we found a ton of it. Um, it was all over the place and um, in the woods we were at the old growth on the dead trees. Um, if you found a dead tree, you'd just start finding mushrooms. And so we picked a lot of that. <clears throat> um, we cooked them up in various different ways uh, so that you could um, see different ideas about how to cook them and how to use them. Um, the last step I'm going to do is I'm gonna freeze some and can some and try to preserve some in different ways and see how that turns out. Um, because when you collect them, I think you tend to collect them in large amounts. They come, oh, four, five, six pounds at a time or more when you find them. And so hopefully we won't have to eat them all in the next couple of days. Out there somewhere, you'll find it. Uh, Elevate. I always wonder. 
some more lights. Sharp knife, needle, duct tape. Very good. And boom, we can go. And like that. Right up there. And there. Let's go. complete and we'll go back into the woods for round thing through the wilderness we encountered our second batch of chicken of the woods our goal then is to cross the creek and wind up right over there you can barely see the chicken of the woods So now we've got to the bottom of the creek. We think we've spotted more. It's just a matter of finding a way across this thing here. The best way without getting stuck or slipping on this moss and all this stuff like that. Cloud bird. Here. So our chicken in the woods is right up there, but we think we spotted some more right over on that side. So as we navigate across this thing, we'll huh, see what we can find. As we came across our little, you know, navigation right there, um, extra toughies led the way. Now we found our second batch right over there. And there'll be more yep yonder. Stuff, a little tougher, a little drier, and look for some younger, fresher. Okay, onward. This stuff here is a little tougher as well. Nearly as soft as the other stuff. It's thinner, um, crunchier, it doesn't bend as much, it breaks. Um, so just try and pop some off with your finger. And the soft stuff we found doesn't do that. It's a lot thicker. And um, it 
bleeds a lot of moisture. That one doesn't, so that leads us to believe that these are a little tougher. Alright, so I think we've found some more maybe. See if it's younger and fresher. This year's growth as opposed to last year's. Mm, it's promising. Alright. So this stuff is a lot more moist than the other stuff. Um, when you look at it, uh, when I break it off, it's soft. It's soft. It's very soft and starts bleeding pretty quick, which leads us to believe it's fresher this year's growth. So we can uh, chop this stuff off. What do you think it looks like, Kenny? Good? It's beautiful. Beautiful. It's that time of year. Fall is coming, the berries are out. The salmon are spawning. The mushrooms are all over the place. Yeah. Love the fall of the And there is our first quart of chicken of the woods. Uh, got quite a bit of it. I would say about 25 pounds of them. Um, and now we'll begin the process of uh, tasting and processing and finding out just how good it is, man. <laughs> All right, so some things I noticed right off the bat. Uh, this group here was the thinnest, seemed the oldest, and the driest. Um, I think it was probably this year's still, not last year's. In fact, I know it was. Um, but it had been out longer, and it held up nicer to the traveling, the wear and tear in the bag as we had to trail out. This stuff right here was far and away the freshest. Um, it was really moist and tender and rich and thick. Way thicker than this stuff. And it did not hold up as well to the traveling. Got a little bit of soft and some parts down here getting not as good. Um, you know, like along the edges are quite not quite as so they're a little softer now, a little mushy, like they couldn't handle the um, bounce of the trail. Um, so that is interesting. We're gonna compare now like some of the drier stuff and see what that's like to some of the more moist stuff. We're gonna um, cook it three ways. We're gonna uh, deep fry some uh, with a little batter and we're going to pan fry some, a little salt and pepper, and we're gonna barbecue some on a little barbecue I got out there. So we're gonna try it three different ways, just real simple and plain. Um, see what it's like, so we can imagine what it's gonna look like. So I'll keep separate piles. Uh, some of this stuff that um, I was saying was a little more wet. Uh, I'm just gonna trim off some of the stuff that uh, got a little mushier on the trail. Um, and we have so much of it. You know, I think we're still left with a good portion after that, but we're just gonna have to trim off that mushy stuff. Uh, very fibrous. When I look inside, um, the grains run, of course, like uh, out along the uh, mushroom as it goes out, it radiates. So the grain radiates out. Um, but there's certainly a grain you can kind of pull it apart a little bit. Um, it's kind of interesting. So. I don't know if that means we'll cut across the grain um, to maybe get a better texture. We'll try both ways and see. And so um, now I'm just gonna start cutting it up. This one's across the grain. And across the grain. And I'll try a bigger one here. Uh, one thing I like about it, there's no bugs anywhere. So apparently the bugs don't particularly like chicken of the woods. Uh, at least the ones we found today, which is nice. Um, it's always fun. Uh, let's see, I'm gonna do a little more with the grain here. I mean, across the grain, sorry. Uh, okay, let's 
two. That's done. Now we'll cut a little bit with the grain, right? A little bit with the grain here. Kind of cut along that way, that way, that way. Some of that dirt off there too. So that's with the grain. Um, this was all stuff that was fresher this year's for sure. This stuff is a, the older um, stuff, and we will uh, cut some of that up same way, against the grain and with the grain. Try them out, see how they work. With and against. And against the grain. Okay, we've got some to try them out. Very good. Uh, the stuff in these two groups were the um, freshest stuff we found. It was very moist on the tree, very thick. Um, and when you pulled it apart, it would just start to bleed water. Um, and as we said, uh, some little parts are a little bit mushier, not bad, but they didn't hold up that well with the travel. Um, these ones over here are the drier ones, um, and they held up a lot better in the travel, but they're certainly not nearly as thick, and they seem a little um, tougher already, but we don't know yet. Got my oil heating up to be 350 exactly, you know, when all said and done, so that one's good. Got my pan heating up there, you know, just uh, get it nice and toasty and probably dry fry the mushrooms first for a bit and then get them. Uh, our temperature right now is going to be uh, about 245, 240, 230, 230. So we got a little ways to go there. So, so there we got them on the pan frying up. Um, We'll get salt and just a little bit of salt for a little flavor. Uh, on this side, we got the younger, fresher, and this side, a little bit older, a little thinner, less watery. Let's see what happens. Test number one was um, the older stuff, uh, a little thinner, um, less moist, versus the fresher, newer stuff. So, older, uh, newer, fresher. Um, but determined, uh, my fiance and I, who is my taste uh, testing buddy, uh, we both determined that um, this one actually has a little nicer flavor. The texture is a little more firm. This is more moist uh, and it's just a softer chew. Uh, this stuff is a little um, firmer of a chew, but it's got a little more flavor, perhaps because there's less water on the. Um, the, old, the, the older, this year is probably older growth. So very interesting conclusions there. Um, next we're gonna go cross cut versus, um, versus with the green. These are both cross cut. All right, while our next batch is um, going, that's the cross cut versus the with the green. Um, the oil is heated up so at about 350, just turned it up a little bit more, 345, just turned it up a little bit more. I'm about to throw in some mushrooms, cool it down. Uh, there's a um, plain and simple halibut kind of thing I just made with some onion powder and um, dill and salt and a um, little MSG and whatever else in there and then some eggs. So I'll just batter them up then and deep fry them and see what happens. Okay, okay now we got our uh, last little test right now. We got uh, this is um, cross cut against the grain, this is with the grain. So we'll just try out texture wise and see um, which one's better. There's a difference. They're both of the um, older stuff because I figured the grain would be uh, most apparent in those. So here you go. This is um, right here. This is the with the grain. We have not tried the with the grain yet. Okay. Mm -hmm. Wow. OMG. Holy cow. And the 
with the grain, very chickeny, fibrous, kind so of. Oh, good. Mm hmm. Interesting. I would have to say, I almost like it with the grain better than against the grain. If I were to, if I were to say, the texture is just a little, um, a little richer, a little nicer, you know, uh, with the grain. With the grain. You can kind of tear off pieces, you know, and when you put them in your mouth, they don't just snap off, they just kind of tear off. Huh. Cut that was the no, this is the width um, on the on the grain uh, with grain, and that was the cross cut. We'll just try them up a little difference here and we'll see what we think. And I thought I might as well try some of the um, less wet ones, the older ones, because we claimed they had a little more flavor and see if that just shows up uh, with the deep fryer too. You know, uh, maybe you'll be able to taste a little bit more mushroomy. But I'll say the texture was wonderful, and you can taste them. I mean, they're not bland, they're not cardboard or anything. They just uh, seem like they're very welcoming of any flavor you're going to put on them. Uh, the flavors themselves are, or they're fine, they're good. And this time I put a little Tony Cacciatore down because she said they don't taste like much more. All right, Butterball. Uh, there's that little Tony's on there. Um, see what you think of that one. That uh, carries the flavor nice, doesn't it? That flavors the carry that carries the flavor really good. Texture is lovely. It does actually really taste a lot like chicken. And now we just got like a little Thai chili paste sauce on there, so we start getting like kung pao chickeny, you know? See what that is. So this is the kung pao chickeny test. She always takes the best one every time. With it with you. Oh, no, no, no. <laughs> there we go. Kung Pao chicken. It's hot. Mm -hmm. Oh, good. Oh, yeah. Awesome. So good. I would say it's almost indistinguishable from chicken. Like, uh, when you eat that, if you were put two of those in between or mixed them together, you wouldn't be able to tell which is which. Mmm. Mmm. That's, by the way, really good. It just carries the flavor perfectly, just like chicken does. It doesn't interfere with any of the flavors you put in there. I think it's better than chicken. Uh-oh. Better than chicken. Okay, now we got uh, just a, you know, somewhat nice olive oil that I got. A little salt. 
and we got the end grains on both of them. And so we're just gonna do a little olive oil salt and go throw them on the grill out there. See what happens. And that's all. So this one is the freshest one. Uh, the one that um, that we decided was the newest, freshest, the wettest, the thickest. Um, see how that compares on the grill. So far, we've liked the um, the thinner ones, the that are probably a little older. We like those better for the pan fry. We also like them better for the deep fry. They both were good. So we'll see if the um, grill turns out the same way. Alright, here we are <coughs> out in the barbecue. It's one of the cheapest little jobs at the hardware store because you didn't know he's not a good barbecue yet. We just moved out here a year ago. We're still waiting on them things. Ow! It's hot though. Um, anyway, so what we got here is we got uh, both types. We got the thin, um, older, and we got the, um, the fresher. And we're just going to kind of put them up there and see how they do. Um, one thing I can say about uh, the other um, two methods, the deep frying and the pan fry, is the mushrooms held up exceptionally well to those. Some mushrooms get soft or mushy, some mushrooms uh, are difficult and temperamental when you um, cook them, but these mushrooms are not so. They um, really hold their texture well, their shape well. Um, they respond very well to both deep frying and to, um, and to the uh, pan fry. Uh, so that was a nice treat. Um, no worries there. And so we'll give these, oh, I'd say four or five minutes or something. Um, flip them over and see what happens. like our third or fourth test here. Uh, these are uh, on the barbecue. Um, probably not long enough, but uh, I couldn't wait any longer. The first two over on the deep fryer were just still going and waiting, and the pan fry were so good and so wonderful that we thought to ourselves, this is barbecue, and now um, it's been barbecuing for about seven or eight minutes, right? Um, the other two, the pan fry and the deep fry, held up so well and it looks like these do too like on the barbecue their texture is just great i mean it's firm you know it bends uh but when you eat it mm, it's not soft and it's good now that's a little drier than the other ways we did this is the wetter of the two and i might have barbecued for a little too long um, as you can see, mm, real stringy in there, um, but in fact, uh, I think that the barbecue gets rid of a lot of the moisture, and um, tear, tear it apart that way, yeah, no, 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 like this from this I'm end, it's hot. Um, there you go, you can start to see some of the texture in there, the stringiness, all the way down the line, just like a chicken, no different. Um, but the flavor is wonderful. It picked up the barbecue flavor beautifully. This is the older one. Um, not yet. I'm going to marinate them on barbecue. Uh, this one's really good as well. Um, I would say on the barbecue, I like the fresher ones a little better. Um, those ones get a little more dry. They're good. They're not bad at all. But the wetter ones are a little better. 
And so now we're gonna put some on a barbecue um, with marinade. We're gonna get some uh, marinade out there. We have some <clears throat> salt lick spice. That's uh, some Texas barbecue sauce. Whoops. That's some Texas barbecue sauce that uh, my love brought back uh, when she returned from um, Texas not too long ago. Austin area, anyway, or Houston area, sorry. Um, so now we're gonna marinate it in that and try and re-barbecue it. <laughs> so we decided that on the barbecue with the grain uh, was actually better than against the grain. Um, we thought that was superior, it's so stringy. Uh, it's just really nice. So now I'm gonna add the barbecue sauce. And well, actually I got a little bit of leftover salt and oil in there, olive oil. I was gonna fling on there because that was really nice on there. That was in the bottom of the thing already. Then I got some salt lick barbecue sauce and I was gonna put that on top. And I guess this ain't really a marinade. It's more just like a, um, coat, a coat and cook kind of thing. But we'll just take this now and get that all juicy and then take it out to the grill and see what we can go do, man. <laughs> All right, so now we got our chicken. Been sitting in the marinade to stew the coat and cover for about, oh, five minutes or something. Got uh, the barbecue heated up here. So we're gonna take and put them on there, take some off sooner, take some off later, and see how they go, you know? Um, the first batch on the barbecue was really good. Uh, just took the, the, um, the heat well and everything. Mm, nice texture and so these ones are full fleshed new guys um they're the newest ones with a uh, salt lick marinade on it a little salt little oil so we'll give them oh, four or five minutes on the grill see what happened Ooh, yeah. smoking with some barbecue nice all right, we're gonna flip them over now. Um, they should be doing pretty good. Uh, see how they're doing? Oh yeah, these ones got a nice char on one side. I'm not gonna let them go quite as long on the other side because they did dry a little bit uh, on the grill. Um, so we'll just do a quick cook on this side, um, on the other side, and then call them good. See what happens. They look beautiful. Though. All right, we're gonna dig in one more time. This is cut with the grain because we found that's most chicken-like. That one has not been barbecued with barbecue sauce. This is the barbecue sauce side over here. This is the first one we did. So it's with the grain. Um, it was cooked in just, I would say, six or seven minutes. Um, this time it was cooked with a barbecue sauce on it. And then there's extra sauce to the side. So we'll see how it goes. Mm-hmm. Super hot. Mm. Super hot. Mm. It tastes just like barbecue. Mm. It does. Um, if barbecue ribs or barbecue chicken or mushrooms, this is exactly what it would taste like. Uh, spectacular. I would say it could not get any better than that. 10 out of 10, she says. Yeah. Uh, so, all in all, uh, pan fried, deep fried, barbecued, it doesn't matter. They're an extraordinary mushroom. Their texture holds up. Their flavor is great. Picks up on other flavors really well, really nicely. Um, so, they're not strong that way. Um, and uh, we would think to cut them, depending on what you're going to do, um, either across or with the grain. Uh, if you're going to barbecue, cut them with the grain is better pan fried with the grain but deep fried cross cut might be um some advice to give uh however you cut it <laughs> they're beautiful Chicken of the wood wings are good. They got like the 
M one that was uh, maybe a little older. They're good, they're a little drier on the inside, but good. And I got the thick ones right here that was, oh, they were like juicy. They're real fresh growth. Both of them's good uh, all together. Mm. The mushrooms present beautifully. Um, they have a definite appeal with the orange. Um, the colors are beautiful. The uh, flesh of the mushroom itself um, is just shiny looking and nice. And so they present wonderfully. Um, and now we'll see how they taste. Don't touch. Don't touch. Drop down a tailgate. Good to touch. Come on, New Orleans! 